I'm Sherry from Cruise Tips TV, and this is Norwegian Escape. In this video, we'll show you most public areas of Norwegian Escape. And along the way, we'll share tips to help you get the most out of your cruise. You'll want to stay until the end of this video and we'll tell you how to get access to the freestyle dailies from our sailing. Starting from the top of the ship on deck 20, we have the infamous water slides. Up here, there are two free fall slides and the aqua racer. Escape has one of the largest aqua parks at sea, and if the weather is good, it can be fun to check these out on your boarding day. You've got to try out the dual free fall slides that loop you over the side of the ship. But you'll want to leave your watches, sunglasses, and jewelry in your stateroom for a safe ride. Moving forward on this deck, there is a terrific spot to catch some sun that not many people know about. It can get windy up here on sea days, but on port days, it's an excellent place to escape the crowds. One deck down, you'll find this sprawling sports court that will likely bring a smile to the face of any sports enthusiast. But for us, the bigger thrill is the ropes course, perched 19 decks above the sea. This surprisingly exhilarating multi-level ropes course is one of the best ropes courses we have ever tried at sea. Complete with zip lines and planks. That's right, you can walk the plank on a beam that extends over the side of the ship. That is 180 feet above sea level. Forward on deck 19, you'll find another great place to catch some rays and soak in a hot tub. But if you're looking for something a bit more exclusive, you'll want to check out the adults only Vibe Beach Club. It's an exclusive oasis at the top of the ship. Outside, you'll find this conveniently located bar. Inside is a bar dedicated to Vibe guests a hot tub, panoramic ocean views, specialty food and drinks, and upgraded lounge chairs with umbrellas. At Vibe, for an additional charge, you can have exclusive access for the entire length of your cruise. Here's a tip for you. You can now reserve Vibe before your cruise. Super helpful. No more rushing up there on the first day to secure your spot. Further forward is the Haven Courtyard with its own hot tub and yet more loungers. This area is for Haven guests, so we just took a quick peek. Deck 18 offers more family fun with the mini golf course, a giant chessboard, and the super popular bocce ball. We'll start off at Deck 17 with Spice H2O. This complimentary, adults-only, aft sun deck is the perfect escape when you need some away time from the kids. Here, you've got an expansive bar, lounge chairs, hot tubs, and even a water grotto. But the real fun happens after dark at Spice H2O. Seriously, it gets hop in here with music, dancing, and big screen video. We loved the 80s party here. Oh, and kids are allowed here in the evenings. Another place that gets lively after dark is Entourage, the teen club. 
This is an adult free zone. So we're taking our teen son's word for this, but he says it's pretty legit. Speaking of teens, they will likely be pleasantly surprised by the video arcade on Escape. Teens can be hard to please, but this arcade is absolutely jammed with awesome games. From air hockey and skee ball to racing games and virtual reality, there's pretty much something for everyone here. Our next stop on deck 17 is the American Diner. This is a great place to refuel, and it's conveniently located to many of the upper deck facilities. It's a great option if the buffet feels a bit crowded. And here's something good to know. They serve breakfast here at the American Diner, some mornings of the cruise, and it's buffet style. We'll close out deck 17 with a look at the two level waves bar. Whether you like the top level with its views, or the bottom level closer to the pool, you'll always find some company as this bar is one of the most popular on the ship. And speaking of popular, there is arguably nothing more popular than the buffet on Escape. Occupying the majority of the aft section of deck 16, the garden cafe packs them in. There's a good combination of booths and tables here, and of course, plenty of tasty food. They even have a kid's buffet. Here are several tips for you to make the most out of the garden cafe. First up, grab a freshly made omelet for breakfast. There's a bit of a wait, but it is worth it. They also have hand scooped ice cream in several spots up here, which is a real treat. We already looked at some of the slides, but there's more wet and wild fun to be had here at the main pool and the kids aqua park. Closer to the lower level of the waves bar, you'll find the second pool bookended by hot tubs. And here is what this looks like on a typical sunny day at sea. The fitness center on Escape is massive and has pretty much everything you'd find on land. There's cardio, free weights, lots of Nautilus style machines, and even stationary bikes for spin classes. Now let's talk about this unbelievable spa and salon. If getting pampered is your idea of a good vacation, then you will not be disappointed here. The Mandara Spa and Salon is full service and offers a wide range of treatments. We noticed spa and salon specials a few times on our cruise in the Freestyle Daily and you can always call or stop by the spa to ask if they have any promotions coming up. It's no secret that Norwegian has the largest and best equipped thermal suites at sea, including saunas with stunning ocean views, a steam room, a salt room, a snow room. Yes, you heard that right, a snow room, a hydrotherapy pool, hot tile loungers, and 270 degree views from the bow. That is the same view as the captain, pretty cool. This thermal suite is absolutely stunning. Just be sure to visit the spa on day one to inquire about getting a pass for your cruise. Overlooking the Manhattan room and the ship's beautiful wake, we have Cagney's the classic steakhouse where they serve certified Angus beef as well as seafood and chops. This is the perfect place to share a romantic evening, to celebrate a special event, or simply enjoy a delicious meal. Outdoor seating is available on the waterfront when conditions permit as well. 
between Cagney Steakhouse and Moderno Churrascaria, you'll find the Prime Meridian Bar. This is the perfect bar to grab a before dinner drink. And we love the location between the two restaurants. It's a really nice gathering spot. Moderno Churrascaria is an authentic Brazilian steakhouse where meats are carved tableside. It's a fun and unique experience, but for us, the massive salad bar is really the showstopper here. Like many other venues on this deck, there's also outdoor seating on the waterfront when the weather cooperates. We love Moderno and find that it's great for couples, families, really just about anyone will enjoy this experience. Outside on the waterfront, you'll find Dolce Gelato. It shares space with the bake shop and is a fun place to stop for something sweet. But there's more to do here on deck eight than eat. There's also shopping and lots of it from duty free to cosmetics, jewelry, sunglasses, camera gear, clothing, and so much more. Watch your Freestyle Daily for sale events. There are some great deals throughout the shops on the cruise. You'll also find the photo gallery in this area. You can stop by here to see all the fun photos the onboard photographers take throughout your voyage. But let's get back to the food and drink on deck eight. Bayamo by Ocean Blue is an elegant seafood spot serving up simply grilled fish from ahi, to sea bass. Oh, and there's also some outdoor seating on the waterfront in this area too. Sharing space with Bayamo is the Sugarcane Mojito Bar. Here they serve up a wide variety of delicious mojitos. This is one of the most popular watering holes on Escape. And once you stop by here for a drink, you'll understand why. Be sure to watch your newsletter for special events like martini tasting. It's so fun and a great way to sample several of the different menu items. Also in this area is Pincho's Tapas Bar, where they offer up some Spanish style cuisine. Across from Pincho's is The Cellars, a Michael Mondavi family wine bar. Wine lovers will be right at home here with a variety of workshops and a tasting table. The events here on our sailing were super popular and the wine cellar vibe is awesome. It's a fantastic place for a casual glass of wine that you can also pair with some small bites from La Cucina next door. Next up is the humidor. Cigar lovers can hang out in this cozy spot with no shortage of comfy seating. Continuing the comfy seating theme is Tobacco Road Liquor Bar. Modeled after Miami's oldest and most famous bar that opened in 1912, this is a super popular hangout and it is an absolute dream for whiskey drinkers. They have a fantastic selection of whiskeys and tons of cocktails. We heard the whiskey flights here are incredibly high quality and you'll want to check out the cocktails on tap as well. Those cocktails on tap are part of Norwegian's partnership with Kathy Casey. La Cucina offers up classic Italian fare in a warm and inviting atmosphere. We've heard the beef tenderloin with blue cheese ravioli and the braised lamb shank are outstanding. Outdoor seating on the waterfront is also available here when the weather is good. Now let's step into Sid Norman's Poor House. This is one of the most unique live music experiences at sea. Kick back and listen to whole albums of classic rock legends while surrounded by rock memorabilia. There's lots of adult and family fun to be had here, but be sure to arrive early for the more popular events like karaoke. 
If you're in the mood for a cold one, you can't go wrong at the District Brew House. Here you'll find up to 50 different bottled and 22 draft beers. We love the amazing views from a glass conservatory style seating area. And at night, there's live piano bar style entertainment. Across from the District Brew House is perhaps our favorite place to eat on Escape, Food Republic. The tapas style Asian Latin fusion cuisine is phenomenal and the service was outstanding. Be careful though, because it's easy to order too much food here. We did, but no regrets, it was worth it. Food Republic is open for lunch on sea days and dinner nightly, and it works with your dining and drink packages. Moving down to deck seven, the Manhattan Room is one of three different main dining rooms on Escape. That gives you plenty of places to enjoy a fine dining experience, all of which are included in your cruise fare. We'll take a look at Taste and Savor, the other two dining rooms when we get to deck six. And all of these dining rooms offer freestyle dining, so there's really no set seating times. You can come and go during their opening hours. The Skyline Bar is illuminated with huge screens that display changing digital landscapes, giving this lively place a unique vibe. It's the perfect spot to have a cocktail before dinner, to enjoy some live music, meet up with friends, or try your luck with bar top poker screens. While we're on the topic of luck, here is what you can expect to see at the casino. Ocean's Bar and Grill is typically a go-to spot on Norwegian ships, but it's at a whole new level on Escape, and it's the only full-service, complimentary, 24-hour restaurant at sea. Seriously, where else can you get a burger and some wings at 3.30 a.m.? On Escape, it's split with the bar on one side and the restaurant on the other. Now you can order food on both sides, of course, and it's a fantastic option for breakfast and lunch and dinner with nightly specials. Over on the bar side, there's also a large arcade with darts, pool, hoops, skee-ball, bowling, and more. We had a blast playing late night darts here, and this was actually a popular spot with the teens on our sailing as well. Continuing forward, we'll pass by the box office on the way to the Escape Theater, where you can make reservations for shows. The Escape Theater is home to Choir of Man, Norwegian's top-rated, high-energy rock and show. Drop in and enjoy an evening of classic rock and pop hits in the spacious theater, and don't forget to catch Wheel of Fortune, which is now running on Escape and coming to the rest of the fleet soon. You may be wondering about show reservations on Escape. On our sailing, Choir of Man and the Supper Club, which is held in another venue, required reservations, but all other events were first come, first served. Moving down to deck six, we'll look at those other two dining rooms, starting with taste. These dining rooms are quite similar with some minor differences, the carpet for example. Taste also extends down to deck five with this private dining room. Now here is Savor. As you can see, both are quite elegant and they offer a relaxing dining experience. Between savor and taste is the mix bar, which really couldn't be more convenient if you want to stop for a before dinner drink. Now for one of our favorite spots on the entire ship, Teppanyaki offers a fun, music-filled and unique dining experience that everyone will love. In our opinion, 
It's the best meal option on board for families. Kids absolutely love it. Be sure to book far in advance as it almost always sells out. And you got to try the specialty cocktails here. Located at the heart of 678 Ocean Place is Le Bistro. This elegant French restaurant is perfect for a romantic, unpretentious dinner for two or three if you're like us and drag your teenage son around with you everywhere you go. Seriously though, we had a terrific time here. The service was exceptional and the food was unbelievably good. If comedy is your thing, you'll want to swing by Headliners Comedy Club. Early in the evenings, you can check out a variety of traditional comedy acts, but come back later to experience Howl at the Moon, a dueling piano show filled with singing and dancing to the hits of the 70s, 80s, 90s, and today. This is such an amazing event, and you can just tell everybody is having an awesome time and singing along. When you're in this area, be sure to take some time to enjoy the dazzling, color-changing light feature here. It's a perfect backdrop for portrait photos. On the way to the atrium, you can check out the many pieces of art at the art gallery. In the atrium, you'll find a huge sitting area with a giant screen and a stage for live music and entertainment. Crowds will gather here and at Oceans on the deck above to check out the shows and entertainment. The atrium bar and the atrium cafe, which is also the onboard coffee and pastry shop, make this yet another great place to hang out on escape. The Atrium Cafe is where you can grab those espresso drinks throughout the day. Don't miss the pastries and cupcakes here too. They're super delicious and very fancy. If you have any questions on your cruise, guest services is also located here on this deck and the friendly staff are always happy to help you out. Across from the guest services area, you'll find three important spots. The first is the internet cafe. There's a modern but comfortable aesthetic here. Next door is the cruise consultant desk where you can browse and book future cruises. And finally, next to that is the shore excursions desk where you can get information and help with port activities. If you're looking for a nice quiet place to settle down with a book or maybe a quiet game of chess, the library is the place you want to be. The last stop on deck six is the supper club. Compared to the larger escape theater, this is an intimate venue with more of a lounge feel where they feature a variety of musical entertainment and dinner theater type experiences. For example, one night on our sailing there was a divas tribute with dinner at both 6 p.m. and 8.30 here at the supper club. We'll round out this ship tour on deck five with a look at some areas for the little ones. First up is Splash Academy. Here, three to 12 year olds will enjoy a wide range of sports, creative play, and fun activities in an age appropriate atmosphere. Guppy's Nursery hosts open play for the littlest cruisers and offers a space for parents to interact with their infants, babies, and toddlers ranging from six months to three years old, so basically the little ones in diapers. Toys, balls, and sensory items are available within this space. The schedule varies per ship and itinerary and it's posted in the Freestyle Daily. Just stop by here on day one and they'll fill you in. 
Okay, friends, thank you for sticking with us for this whole video. You can find out more about Norwegian Escape using the link in the description and pinned to the top of the comments of this video. Right next to that, you'll find all of the freestyle dailies from our sailing, so you can get an idea for the activities on board this ship. We'd be honored to invite you to subscribe, but if you're just scrolling through, consider giving us a like and sharing this video with your friends and comment below with your favorite spot on board Norwegian Escape. Special thanks to Norwegian Cruise Line for partnering with us on this project. Until next time, we'll see you on the high seas.